Victoria, go ahead. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining our webinar. Mm -hmm. This webinar is presented by CREAA. Our guest today is Sha Wing Lam and Clifford Freed. Today's topic, we will be talking about how to withdraw from the rental market. Clifford Freed and Lam Sha Wing Thank you, Victoria. Um, so I'd like to thank you for inviting me to speak to the Chinese Real Estate Association. Uh, some of you may know me from past dealings, uh, but just a little bit about my background. 我首先是自我介紹一下先。I was born in New York, moved to Los Angeles, and then I moved to the Bay Area to go to college, where I went to UC Berkeley, and then law school at USF School of Law. 我是在紐約那裡出世的,後來搬了來羅省,再搬來北加州,我是在UC Berkeley那個法律學院畢業的。and I almost immediately started representing landlords, residential landlords, when I became a lawyer. That was in the early 1980s. Now I have two law offices, one in San Francisco and one in Oakland. 那個大概是40年前啦,我現在還有兩個律師樓,一個在三房市,一個在東灣呢邊。And we have eight lawyers and we practice general real estate law, mostly litigation and a lot of landlord tenant law. 我個律師樓呢,而家有八個律師,我哋係主要呢係做房地產個方面嘅訴訟案件。In my career, I've completed over 15,000 evictions. And I know that sounds like a lot, but there actually are other attorneys in Northern California have done over 100,000 evictions. And I mostly represent landlords, uh, once in a while, I'll represent a commercial tenant, uh, but my my uh, forte, my expertise is representing residential landlords. I'm going to uh, take from my experiences and and tell you a little bit about what's happening. Uh, in landlord tenant law today, uh, most of it is not that good. And then I'm going to talk about some laws that will uh, that that can help you in these situations. Okay, next slide, please. So there's a bit of a crisis that residential landlords are going through uh, throughout the state of California. And all landlords are being affected by this crisis, some worse than others. And uh, some of you are uh, joining us today because you just have concerns about this crisis and changes in the law. And and others of you are probably being directly affected and have a real problem with your rental properties now because of changes in the law. Next slide, please. 
the uh, the crisis that I'm talking about has to do with more and more laws being passed by local governments. 我所讲嘅困境咧，就系而家咧，地方政府系越嚟越多关于租务嗰方面嘅啊法例。And these laws are being passed because the lawmakers, our supervisors and and、uh, and legislatures, they think that these laws are going to help residential tenants. 咁多嘅新法例咧，因为我哋嗰啲嘅政治领袖咧，认为呢啲法例可以帮到普罗大众，帮到嗰啲租客。And there are a lot of different opinions as to whether these laws are really helping or if they're hurting tenants. 但有好多唔同嘅睇法咧，就系话呢啲新法例究竟系帮咗呢啲租客啊，亦或害咗佢哋咧 ？There's one thing for certain, and that is these laws are、uh, hurting residential landlords. 但系有一样肯定嘅咧，就系呢一啲新法例咧，对业主嚟讲咧系有伤害嘅。And I also question whether these laws are really helping、uh, tenants in the long run, or it's going to make housing worse for tenants. 而我咧亦都咧系有疑问咧，就系呢啲咁嘅新法例咧，喺长远嚟讲系咪真系帮到啲租客咧，亦或系令到更多嘅业主系唔敢将佢啲屋咧系租出去？ I want to start by talking a little bit about what these laws are that we've been experiencing and. It started coming on very strong. These laws with the COVID-19 pandemic. 我想咧系讲讲而家呢啲新法例到底系咩嘢咧？佢哋开始咧就系而家呢个疫情啊，即系大概两三年前开始噶。And the laws seem to be growing ever since early 2020, where it's very difficult to keep up with these changes in the law. 由二零二零年开始咧，好多好多呢啲新嘅租务法例出嚟咧，有时咧都真系冇办法咧，系全部都明白嘅。And the laws that I'm talking about, they seem to hit harder on smaller property owners than the big landlords. 而呢一啲嘅新法例咧，影响嗰啲小业主咧，系多过影响嗰啲咧系大嘅业主。And I don't think that's a good thing because some of my best clients over the years have been the smaller landlords, the mom and pop landlords. 而我大部分最好嘅人客咧，系嗰啲小业主嚟嘅。The smaller landlords have a very good relationship with their tenants. 小业主咧，原则上系同佢啲租客咧关系系相当唔错嘅。On the other hand, the、uh, bigger landlords, the big corporations, it's less personal between the landlord and the tenant. 而嗰啲咧系大公司、大财团嘅大业主咧，佢同租客之间嘅关系咧系好疏离嘅。Now I know people in the audience.、Uh, they have properties all over the East Bay.、Uh, that's our audience primarily here today. But let's start with the city of Berkeley. Berkeley was one of the first cities in the Bay Area to have eviction and rent controls. 嗱，我哋嚟先睇睇咧，系 Berkeley 呢个地方咧，佢系第一个城市咧，系有呢一啲嘅逼迁啊，嗰啲嘅管制嘅。In twenty, the year twenty twenty, the voters of Berkeley passed Measure MM. 喺二零二零年嘅初期咧 ，Berkeley 嘅誒誒選民咧係通過咗呢個 MM 法例。And what Measure MM did was to bring more properties under the rent control umbrella。呢個 MM 法例咧就係令更多嘅出租物業咧係受到租務管制。So although Berkeley had rent control and eviction controls back in the 1970s。Certain properties were exempt from those laws. Ah,、uh, 以前咧，佢租務管制喺上個世紀七零年代開始嘅時候咧，有好多物業咧係唔受到管制嘅。But with the passage of Measure MM,、uh, all of these properties, like single-family homes, condominium units, and newly constructed units, were brought under the rent control umbrella. 但係呢個 MM 法例咧，就嗰啲單一房屋啊。
新建啊嗰啲以前系冇租冇管制嘅，而家都全部有管制啦。Owners of these smaller properties always thought that they would forever be exempt from the rent laws, but now they have to register their units. 好多小业主咧，以前唔受到管制嗰啲咧，而家都全部受到管制啦。Next slide, please. So more laws in Berkeley that have passed. There is the、uh, Fair Chance Housing Ordinance. 而 Berkeley 咧，佢又通过咗咧呢个叫公平机会嘅啊住房嘅条例。A lot of property owners, when they take applications from tenants, they want to know if the applicant has ever committed a crime or a felony. 好多时候咧，我哋喺誒、uh, 考慮係咪租俾某一個人嘅時候，我哋都想知道佢過去有冇犯罪嘅記錄嘅。And there's actually a way for landlords to find out、uh, through tenant screening services if the applicant has committed a crime。而業主咧係可以透過有啲機構咧係查到嗰個申請誒嗰、uh, 個租客咧過去有冇犯罪記錄嘅。Under the Fair Chance Housing Ordinance,、uh, landlords can no longer ask the applicants if they have committed a crime. 但呢条条例咧就禁止业主系嚟到查嗰个申请者嘅犯罪记录。I've already defended one landlord who violated this particular law by taking about 500 applications, all of which said,、uh, "Ask the applicant, have you committed a crime?" 而我咧係啱啱咧係代表咗一個業主咧，佢就唔知道，佢就誒誒呢啲人申請嘅時候咧，佢就問佢哋有冇犯罪記錄。We got the judge in that case to dismiss the lawsuit, but、uh, all of the landlords out there who have properties in Berkeley need to be very careful.、Uh, also in Oakland, because I think Oakland now has a similar law,、um, not to ask applicants if they've committed a crime. 而雖然咧，我哋成功咁樣咧，係誒讓個誒官咧係撤銷咗嗰個控罪啊，但係咧而家係 Berkeley 啊、屋鄰啊呢啲地方咧，你嘅業業主咧係唔問得呢啲問題嘅。There was another law passed in、uh, Berkeley that prohibits lease termination fees。而 Berkeley 咧亦都通過咗咧，係唔準業業主咧。係收取終止呢一個啊嗰個租約嘅時候咧，係收一個費用。Landlords can no longer charge a fee if a tenant breaks a lease early。如果嗰個租客咧係提前係違約，唔再繼續租咧，嗰個業主係唔可以罰佢嘅。Next slide, please. Probably the the biggest law that's having a big impact. On some landlords is Alameda County's eviction moratorium. 嗱，我谂咧最影响深重嘅咧就系喺阿拉米达县呢一度咧，而家仲系禁止系逼迁嘅。And what we're talking about when we say a moratorium is a ban on all evictions of tenants,、uh, even if they haven't paid the rent, you cannot evict a tenant. 而家我哋系讲紧咧，阿拉米达县咧，而家系禁止一切嘅逼迁，即使咧租客唔俾租。So while the rest of the state had a moratorium on evictions, all on evictions with tenants who couldn't pay their rent, the、uh, the ban on those evictions continues in Alameda County. 嗱，过去咧，成个加州都有例咧，系业主唔能够因为租客唔俾租咧。就逼迁，不过而家已经冇啦，除咗呢个阿拉米达县。So I I understand that most of you that are watching this video, ah,、uh, your tenants are paying rent and you're not having a problem. 我知道而家喺度听紧我讲嘅业主咧，大部分你嘅租客都俾紧租嘅。But you have to understand that there are some landlords out there. Who are not getting rent from their tenants, and it's been that way for many, many months. And the, these landlords cannot do anything about it. But we need to know that in the past, there have been many months where many tenants have not been able to get rent. But it is not a problem. 
well, maybe they can do something about it. And that's what I'm going to be talking about in just a little while. Um, so the, the ban on evictions under the moratorium in Alameda County uh, has two exceptions. Alameda County, one exception has to do with something called the Ellis Act, a state law. And the other exception has to do with the tenant that is creating a health and safety issue. So even though there's a ban on evictions in Alameda County, a landlord can evict a tenant if they're invoking the Ellis Act or claiming that there's a health and safety issue at the property. So Alameda County now I'm talking about a, a moratorium in Alameda County. There's also a moratorium in Berkeley and Oakland that uh, that exists, but we're mostly concerned about the Alameda County moratorium because even if Berkeley or Oakland get rid of their moratoriums, we still have to deal with Alameda County. Now Berkeley and Oakland Alameda County, Alameda County, they passed a moratorium in early 2020 and it still exists. Alameda County, And it's not set to expire. The County Board of Supervisors has to hold a hearing and vote to rescind or undo that moratorium. Uh, did they approve that, Clifford? They did you... not. Okay. There was a meeting this past week where the Board of Supervisors took comments from uh, landlords and tenants about the moratorium. Hundreds of landlords wrote in and dozens appeared for the, for the meeting at the Board of Supervisors. And I was told that three tenant lawyers or advocates showed up to speak for tenants. And despite this overwhelming uh, support by landlords to get rid of the moratorium, the Board of Supervisors voted to do nothing. The vote was three to two to leave the uh, leave the moratorium in place. Next slide, please. Now, turning toward the city of Oakland in particular, uh, there was a vote very recently where the um, the city council in Oakland decided that landlords could only raise the rent 60% of the consumer price index with a maximum of 3%. So starting on August 1st, the most you're going to be able to raise rent for your tenants in Oakland will be 3%. So now, historically, 
you know, that's not too bad raising the rent 3% every year. 因为通胀率很低,所以呢,三个percent都不错了 The problem is something very unusual is happening in our economy right now We have a very high rate of inflation 但是现在那个通胀率这么高 uh, Some estimates are that it's right now it's as high as 9% 有些人估计现在那个通胀率是去到9% While just about everyone else can charge whatever the rate of inflation is uh, The grocery stores, the gas stations, lawyers, doctors Landlords can only get 3% rent increases 所以所有的商业都可以调整它的价钱 now, San Francisco uh, has always had a limit of 60% of CPI, but this is something new to Oakland. And very recently, the city council in Richmond voted to put a similar proposal before the voters in November. So in November, the voters in Richmond are going to decide whether to limit rent increases to 60% of CPI or 3%, whichever is lower. So in Richmond, Next slide, please. The city of Berkeley for a long time has had a, a registration requirement where they require owners to, you know, say who owns the property, who lives in the property, and how many rent, how much rent is being charged. That's called rent registration. In Berkeley, see, but now do you have this rule? You have to register. 給個城市係知道呢,你有幾多租客,你收緊佢幾多租. Recently, San Francisco passed a similar law requiring the registration of rental units. 而三藩市呢,最近亦都通過咗呢,係要啲業主呢係登記嚟到報告俾嗰個城市聽呢,係你收幾多租. And at the present time, the Oakland City Council is considering a rent registration law. If this law passes, which I think it will, uh, the law will require owners to report every year on rents that are being paid at their property and other information about their property. Uh, city. And under the Oakland registration proposal, if an owner doesn't register their unit, they'll be uh, restricted in at the rent board on petition matters and also eviction matters in court. Uh, Oakland says,如果业主不登记的话,他们第一就不用来找city来帮他 uh,他的租務有關的問題呢,就唔使揾嚟,唔使揾city幫佢啦. Uh, and for those of you who are involved with uh, building rental units in the city of Oakland, new construction for a long time has been exempt from the rent laws of Oakland. Oakland呢,不嬲呢,比較新啲嘅物業呢,係冇租務管制嘅. And some investors would buy newly constructed buildings because they were exempt. 有些投資者就專買新的出租房屋,因為他們沒有管制。This November, the voters of Oakland will decide whether eviction and rent control will apply to new construction. 十一月,Oakland的選民就會決定是否這些比較新建的出租物業都要有租務管制。so a lot of bad news when it comes to owning rental property uh, in the Bay Area. These laws are coming on fast and furiously. So in a 
。呢啲咁样新嘅中文法例咧，系越嚟越多嘅。Next slide, please. So a lot of you might be thinking, why should I continue renting my property? 所以好多人咧就话啦，咁我点解仲要做出租物业业主呢？ Is there something else that I could be doing with my property? Uh, Traditionally, owning rental property, residential rental property, has been a pretty good investment. But now, uh, owning these kind of properties is a good investment. And what I'm suggesting is that smaller landlords start considering whether Maybe it's not the best investment anymore because of these changes in the law. Well, I, I just hope that these small landlords, if you are still wanting to own a residential property, you should try to influence these regulations. So, what else can you do with your investment? What would you do with your property, your smaller properties? So, if you don't want to continue to own a residential property, what can you do with your smaller properties? Well, in places that have had rent control for a very long time, like Santa Monica, San Francisco, and Berkeley, 喺一啲嘅城市咧，佢不嬲长期都有好严厉嘅租务管制咧，好似 Santa Monica 啊、三藩市啊呢啲咁嘅城市咧。The landlords in those communities have found other uses for their smaller properties. 嗰啲业主咧就。揾到其他嘅用途啦。Some some property owners have decided to sell their properties and let someone else deal with all these laws。有啲咧就宁愿卖出佢嗰个出租物业。And sales proceeds can be invested in in、uh, some other、uh, some other investment。然后将得款咧系做其他投资。Even a different kind of real estate investment, but not small properties that are over-regulated. Ah, 或者佢仍然系继续投资房地产，但系就唔系投资呢呢一啲啊住屋嘅咁多管制嘅房地产。And some property owners have decided to use their property to put friends and family ah、uh, inside and and make homes out of those properties. 有啲咧就收翻嚟自己住啊。You may have heard of tenancies in common or condominium conversions. Well, that's a common use of these smaller properties、uh, after you decide to stop renting your smaller properties. Ah, 大家可能都听过咧 ，TIC 啊，啊 ，condo conversion 啊，呢啲咧就系将出租物业收翻嚟咧，自己做自己用。Now, obviously, there's a big difference between a single-family home and maybe a couple of units. In a twenty-unit apartment building. Ah, 当然啦，系啊，你拥有啊一间屋或者系几个 unit， 同拥有一个 apartment 咧系啊，譬如二十个 unit 咧，中间有好大分别。You may not have enough family and friends to fill up a twenty-unit apartment building. 如果你拥有个二十个单位嘅物业咧，你不可能有咁多自己用嘅用途噶。Next slide, please. So what I'm talking about is withdrawing your units from the rental market. I'm talking about is not buying out, but selling back, but not buying out. Remember earlier when I said one of the exceptions to the moratorium was the Ellis Act. You remember what I said earlier when I said one of the exceptions to the moratorium was the Ellis Act. You remember what I said earlier when I said one of the exceptions to the moratorium was the Ellis Act. The Ellis Act is a state law that allows you to withdraw your units from the market. This Ellis Act is a state law that allows you to withdraw your units from the market. So even though there's a moratorium on evictions and asking people to leave, the Ellis Act gives you the right to withdraw those units. Even if there is a moratorium, 你仍然系可以用爱丽丝法案咧，系将你嗰个出租物业咧系收翻翻嚟嘅。And anytime you go through a withdrawal, it's going to be a difficult process, whether it's、uh, coffee, 
cigarettes or fast food, it's not easy to withdraw. 啊！但系咧，当你咧系要戒啊，即系撤离嘅时候咧，就好似咧你啊啊、呃呃、平时咧要戒一啲瘾嘅时候咧，系好难嘅。And the same thing is true with withdrawing rental units from the rental market. 要取消你嗰个出租物业咧，都系有困难嘅。And while it's not rocket science, if you get some proper professional guidance, it is possible. To withdraw your units. 但系咧，如果你系有专业啊、uh, 律师嚟帮助你咧，你依然系可以用 Alice Act 呢一个嘅理由咧，系收翻翻嚟唔再租出去啦。Next slide, please. So there are two state laws that give you the right to withdraw your units from the rental market. 喺加州咧，有两条嘅法例咧。系俾业主系撤回，唔再将嗰个物业系出租啦。And under these two laws, the tenants don't have a defence to an eviction. 诶，根据呢两条法例咧，租客都仍然系有机会咧，系嚟到抗拒嗰个业主系收翻翻嚟。And so long as the landlord follows the correct procedures under this law. They can withdraw their units from the market and get their property back. 但系如果业主系跟住法例嚟做呢，系可以成功地将嗰个出租物业呢系撤回嘅。So the first law is the Tenant Protection Act of 2019. 第一就系呢个二零一九年嗰个租户嘅诶诶保护法案。And the other law is the Ellis Act. 第二個就係呢個 Alice Act。Let me just spend a moment talking about both of these laws。我想花少少時間咧嚟到解釋下呢兩個嘅法案。So the Alice Act was passed、uh, quite a while ago、uh, in response to a situation in the city of Santa Monica。呢個愛麗絲法案咧就係因為喺 Santa Monica 城市嗰度發生。嘅事呢，而係通過嘅。There was a landlord by the name of Mr. Nash who had、uh, a smaller building. I think it was about ten units. 喺嗰度咧有一個嘅業主，有一個十個單位嘅出租物業。And his building was filled with problem tenants who were complaining about everything, whether he would raise the rent or that he wasn't fixing something. They were always complaining. 佢嘅租客咧，都系啲唔系咁好嘅租客，成日要呢样嘈嗰样。So he told the city, "That's it, I'm done, I'm quitting, I don't want to be a landlord anymore." And he tried to evict all of his tenants. 而佢咧就话俾嗰个城市听咧，我唔要再做业主啦。于是咧，佢就开始逼迁啦。And the city of Santa Monica told Mr. Nash, "I'm sorry, but you have to stay in the rental business." And you have to continue being a landlord. 而嗰个城市咧系话你唔可以撤离嗰个市场，你一定要继续做业主。And he took his case to court, and he lost. 佢咧就去法院嗰度进行诉讼，但系败诉。So Mr. Ellis, who was a lawmaker in Sacramento, sponsored some legislation to give landlords the absolute right to go out of the rental business. 而加州議會嗰度咧有一個議員叫係姓 Alice 嘅，佢咧就開始咗個法案咧，係俾業主可以合法地撤離出租市場。And that law is still on the books. Landlords still have the right to withdraw their units and go out of business under the Ellis Act. 呢個法案咧係通過咗，而家仲係法律嘅，係俾業主可以合法地係撤離出租市場。And when I say go out of business, it's it's building by building. It doesn't mean that you have to withdraw all your buildings from the market.、Uh, it's just if there's one building that you don't want to rent out anymore, you have a right to do that. 你如果擁有唔同嘅出租物業咧，你係唔使全部都撤離出租市場。呢個係誒你揀邊一個物業，你係唔再租出去嘅。The other law that we're going to be talking about, the Tenant Protection Act of 
that was passed in 2019 and went into effect uh, in February of 2020. And a lot of us uh, haven't heard much about the Tenant Protection Act because right after February 2020, something really bad happened. The pandemic hit. And landlords had bigger problems than dealing with the Tenant Protection Act. Uh, they were more concerned about just getting their rent every month. Next slide, please. So the Tenant Protection Act uh, is a law statewide. It applies to all properties in the state of California that uh, didn't previously have eviction controls or rent controls. So one part of the Tenant Protection Act, it limits rent increases throughout the state. So most of us are, we, we deal with rent control because our properties are in, in Oakland, Berkeley, and places that have rent control. But people in other parts of the state never have to deal with rent control. And landlords throughout the state, uh, outside of Berkeley and, and Oakland, they never had to deal with eviction controls. But in February 2020, landlords in places like Fresno, Stockton, Mill Valley, they had to have a reason to evict a tenant under the Tenant Protection Act. An eviction control law is sometimes referred to as a just cause ordinance. And what that means is a landlord cannot ask a tenant to leave unless they have one proper just cause. So a just cause is nothing more than a, a reason to evict that's permitted by the law. So the Tenant Protection Act says, in general, landlords cannot ask tenants to leave unless they have a just cause, like non-payment of rent, breaching the lease, or if the owner wants to move in. A lot of the just causes for eviction that we've seen in Berkeley and Oakland now apply throughout the state. So in Berkeley and Oakland, one of the just causes for eviction was that the owner seeks to withdraw the unit under the Ellis Act. And under the Tenant Protection Act, that's also a just cause for eviction. The Tenant Protection Act says that uh, a landlord can ask a tenant to leave if the landlord wants to withdraw uh, the real property from the rental market. 
，所以呢个租户保护法咧，系讲明系业主可以用 Alice Act 嘅原因啦，系嚟到逼迁，将嗰个单位收翻翻嚟。Now, the just cause under the Tenant Protection Act doesn't mention Ellis Act. 呢个诶租户保护法咧系冇喺里边特别提到呢个爱丽丝法案。But it's very a very similar idea to the Ellis Act, and that is you're withdrawing a unit from the rental market. 但系咧，其实咧嗰个概念咧系一样嘅。So we haven't heard much about withdrawing units under the Tenant Protection Act because of this whole COVID situation, but you're going to start hearing more and more about it. 啊，所以咧我哋冇乜听到呢个租户保护法咧，就系因为。疫情開始咗啦，但係咧，我哋逐漸咧，你就會多聽到啲關於呢方面嘅啦。Next slide, please. So, how does it work?、Uh, the Tenant Protection Act、um, to withdraw units, the landlord serves a special 60-day notice. Terminate. 點樣做咧？根據呢個保護法點樣做咧？業主首先要俾六十日通知。So it's not the usual sixty-day notice that you've been using in places like Fresno and Stock, Fresno and Stockton. It、uh, it's a notice that has special language in it. This sixty-day notice and normal sixty-day notice of lease notice is different. It has some special language in it. And by special language, it doesn't change the sixty-day notice. And by special language, it doesn't change the sixty-day notice. And by special language, it doesn't change the sixty-day notice. But the special language. Informs the tenant of some rights that they have. 而嗰啲嘅特别嘅字眼咧，系俾嗰个租客咧，系知道佢有啲咩权利。For example, the notice has to explain to the tenant that the landlord has to pay relocation assistance. 譬如咧，业主要话俾租客听咧，业主系要俾嗰个搬迁嘅援助嘅。And it has to explain how the landlord is going to pay. That relocation assistance. 要解释清楚咧，系业主点样嚟到支付呢一啲搬迁嘅援助。And then after that, it's simple. The landlord waits sixty days, and the tenant is required to vacate before the end of the sixty days. 咁然后咧，通知咗之后咧，等六十日之后，嗰个租客就要搬出噶啦。Uh, of course, if the tenant doesn't vacate, the landlord has to go to court and file something called an unlawful detainer action. So, if the landlord doesn't vacate, the landlord has to go to court and file something called an unlawful detainer action. So, let me talk a little bit more about the relocation assistance that's required under the Tenant Protection Act. I want to talk a little bit more about the relocation assistance. So it's similar to some other laws in Berkeley, Oakland, and San Francisco, where an owner is required to pay relocation assistance. This、这个、搬迁援助咧就同三藩市啊、屋邻啊、Berkeley 嗰啲地方咧系差唔多。Uh, but unlike these laws in Berkeley, Oakland, and San Francisco, the payment under the Tenant Protection Act is pretty small. Ah,、uh, 唔同嘅咧就系喺呢个租户保护法。之下咧，要俾嗰个搬迁援助咧系少好多嘅。Under the Tenant Protection Act, the landlord has the choice or the option to either make a direct payment out to the tenant for relocation, or to waive one month's rent. 啊，业主有两个选择，一个咧就系要支付搬迁嘅援助，第二个选择咧就系免除最后嗰个月嘅租金。So we're talking about one month's rent. If your tenant is paying eighteen hundred dollars a month, you either waive the last month's rent or you write him a check for eighteen hundred dollars. 我哋讲紧嗰个搬迁援助咧，系最多只系一个月嘅租金嘅啫。And although you know it sounds like a lot to give up, it's a lot less than the payments under the Ellis Act or some other kinds of evictions in Berkeley and Oakland. 同呢啲 Berkeley、Oakland 三藩市嘅地方比較咧，呢、这個搬遷嘅援助補償咧係低好多嘅。The problem, of course, is once these laws go into effect, they just get worse. They're amended and things change. 不過咧
呢一啲嘅法例咧，我哋發覺咧喺過去都係咧，佢一路路會修改，越嚟咧就越嚴嘅。And I would expect that this relocation payment of one month is going to increase in the future. 我預料咧，呢個一個月嘅補助咧，係第日一定會增加嘅。Next slide, please. So there are a few things we don't know about the Tenant Protection Act and withdrawing units under the Act. 嗱，有有幾樣關於咧，係唔再租出去呢個法案，究竟咧，佢係規定點樣咧？都仲有啲地方係唔清楚嘅。And、why don't we know? It's because it's a new law. 點解我哋唔清楚咧？因為呢個係一個新嘅法例嚟嘅。On its face, the new law is pretty clear to me. It says you can withdraw your unit from the market. 但係咧，我哋好清楚知道咧，你係可以唔再將你嘅單位租出去嘅。But then things get complicated when tenant lawyers start attacking the law and start attacking. Evictions under the law. 但系咧，如果嗰个租客咧系揾律师，系嚟到咧想挡住你用呢个法例咧嚟到系逼迁嘅话咧，咁就变咗咧复杂啦。So I I expect ah、uh, there to be challenges to this law in the future, but for right now there are a few things we don't know. 啊，我预料咧将来呢个法案咧。里边有一啲咧系会被挑战嘅，但系而家咧，我哋知道系有一啲地方咧系唔清楚嘅。For example, after you withdraw the unit and the tenant vacates, how long do you have to keep that unit off the market? 例如，你唔再租出去，系几耐时间里边唔能够再租出去咧？ We know that, like under the Ellis Act, you have to keep your units off the market for at least five years. 我哋知道用爱丽丝法案咧嚟到系唔再租出去咧，系要起码五年嘅。Because it says so in the Ellis Act, it says five years. You got to keep your unit off the market. 因为爱丽丝法案系讲得好清楚，五年。But under the Tenant Protection Act, it doesn't say how long you have to keep it off the market. 但系咧喺加州呢一个租户保护法案咧系冇讲明几耐嘅喎。Can you keep it off the market for one month or two months？ 你可唔可以净系唔租出去一个月两个月咧 ？I I don't know. I would recommend that if you're withdrawing a unit under the Tenant Protection Act, you keep it off the market for more than a couple of months. 而我唔会赞成咧系。你淨係話唔租出去一兩個月，咁你又租翻出去啦，呢、这個好危險嘅。Under the Ellis Act, you had to withdraw all of the units in your building from the market. 如果你嗰個出租物業咧係有好多個單位咧，你用 Ellis Act 嚟到退出出租市場咧，係全部嘅單位都要退出，唔能夠租出去嘅。So for example, if you had a four-unit building and you were using the Ellis Act to withdraw. You would have to ask the tenants in all four units to move out. So, so if you, for example, you have four units of rental property, you want to use the Ellis Act, you have to ask four units to move out. Under the Tenant Protection Act, it appears that you can go to one tenant in a four-unit building and ask that one tenant to move out. But using this rental protection act, it seems that you can go to one tenant and ask that one tenant to move out. 你係可以其中一個或者兩個嚟用 Ellis Act 逼遷嘅。And、the last thing that's unclear is whether a tenant has any kind of defenses to an eviction under the Tenant Protection Act。另外一個唔清楚嘅咧，就係嗰個租客有冇理由可以抗拒咧 ？Under the Ellis Act, there really were no defenses. A tenant had to get out if they were served with proper paperwork. Ellis Act 咧，嗰個租客咧係冇任何嘅理由咧嚟到抗拒嘅。And I, I think it's going to work the same way under the Tenant Protection Act. I don't think there are going to be any defenses. 我覺得咧，用嗰個租户保護法咧，都應該好似 Ellis Act 咁樣啦，係嗰個租客咧係冇理由抗拒嘅。Of course, the landlord has to get the paperwork correct. That is a kind of defense where, if you end up in court, the tenant can say the landlord messed up on the paperwork, so I don't have to get out. 
。但系咧，好重要嘅咧就系嗰个业主咧，一定要更正手续，递交所有需要嘅文件。如果唔系咧，嗰、那个租客咧。就可以地喺法定度咧，為業主冇跟正嗰個手續嗰個法例嚟到做。If you're thinking about withdrawing units under the Tenant Protection Act, make sure you hire a lawyer who knows how that act works。如果你真係將想將你嗰個出租物業咧係撤離出租市場咧，建議你一定要揾律師幫你搞手續。Next slide. So now I'm going to talk about the Ellis Act. Um, we're on、uh, slide 15 now. 好，我哋落下一张。Perfect. 我而家想讲下呢，用呢个爱丽丝法案呢，系嚟到逼迁。So the Ellis Act is a law that went into effect in 1986. 法例八六年咧就开始啦。And it says、uh, that no city can prohibit A landlord from going out of business. 佢话冇一个城市嘅政府可以禁止业主系唔再将物业出租。Uh, next slide, please. So we've had the Ellis Act on the books for quite some time and a lot of experience. I remember doing one of the very first Ellis Acts in the state in the city of San Francisco. 呢个爱丽丝法案咧已经有一段日子啦。啊！我就記得咧，係佢一通過咗之後咧，我就已經用呢一個法案咧，係嚟到逼遷啦。And and that Ellis Act eviction went very smoothly, but over the years, as Ellis Act evictions increased, they became more difficult. 我處理嗰單咧就好順利，但係我知道咧，而家你用亞利斯法案咧，係會有一啲麻煩嘅。And they became difficult because the cities. Uh, started making it more difficult. They knew they couldn't stop landlords from going out of business, but there were ways for them to make it difficult to use the Ellis Act. 但好多城市咧，佢知道虽然佢唔能够禁止业主唔再做生意啦，但系咧佢哋系会整到咧系啊嗰个嗰、那个困难度好高。There, there have been tens of thousands of Ellis Act evictions in the state of California. 加州咧已經有好多好多用呢個愛麗絲法案咧嚟到係唔再出租。And most of those were in San Francisco and Santa Monica。大部分咧喺三藩市同埋咧係南加州嘅 Santa Monica。And some in Berkeley。有啲係 Berkeley。But very few in the city of Oakland。但係唔喺屋鄰嘅啊情況係唔多。And I think that's going to change. But I think that's going to change. We're going to see more Ellis Act. So let me talk a little bit about how the Ellis Act works. But I think that we're going to see more Ellis Act. But I think that we're going to see more Ellis Act. But I think that we're going to see more Ellis Act. But I think that we're going to see more Ellis Act. But I think that we're going to see more Ellis Act. But I think that we're going to see more Ellis Act. But I think that we're going to see more Ellis Act. But I think that we're going to see more Ellis Act. But I think that we're going to see more Ellis Act. But I think that we're going to see more Ellis Act. But I think that we're going to see more Ellis Act. But I think But instead of a sixty-day notice that's typically required, the Ellis Act requires a hundred and twenty-day notice. 逼迁嘅时间系需要一百二十日，唔系六十日。So a tenant has four months to move out. 有四个月嘅时间咧，系俾佢搬走。Unless they're disabled or elderly, or some other circumstances, they can extend that to one year. 除非咧佢系身体有残障或者系啊年纪大，咁咧有可能咧系要俾一年嘅通知期噶。And then under the Ellis Act,、um, properties have to remain off the market for five years. You cannot rent them out. 五年内唔能够租出去。Next slide, please. So let's talk a little bit about the relocation payments under the Ellis Act, because they're a lot higher than the Tenant Protection Act. 我哋嚟睇下 Ellis Act 底下嗰啲搬迁嘅津贴咧，系多过嗰个租客保护法案好多嘅。Starting with the、uh, city of Oakland,、uh, Oakland requires payments based on the size of the unit. 我哋嚟睇睇 Oakland 啊。
屋邻嗰个搬迁赔偿费呢，系要睇下有几多个单位。So most typically we're talking about、uh, a studio or a one bedroom where it's about eight thousand dollars to the household. 如果系得一个睡房或者系一个 studio 嘅话咧，都差唔多要八千蚊嗰个搬迁津贴。And it's a bit more for two bedrooms or or three bedrooms. If it's two bedrooms or three bedrooms, then it's even more. And if the household includes、uh, someone of lower income, someone who's elderly, and if the household includes someone of lower income, someone who's elderly or disabled, or has a minor child, there's an additional twenty five hundred dollar payment. If the household includes someone of lower income, someone who's elderly or disabled, or has a minor child, 啊，有细路仔啊，嗰啲咧，仲要额外咧，系再加两千五蚊。So th- those payments are are more than what would be required under the Tenant Protection Act. A lot more. 所以呢一个咧系比嗰个租嗰个一个月嗰个啊搬迁费系租务诶诶租户保护法案下边一个月嗰个赔偿咧系高好多嘅。Next slide, please. Uh, under in the city of Berkeley, they have their own、uh, version of the Ellis Act,、uh, re- its regulations, and the the the、um, relocation amounts are different. Ah,、uh, Berkeley, 呢，佢嗰个啊搬迁嘅津贴咧系仲高嘅。So in Berkeley, the standard payment is more like seventeen、uh, thousand, with an additional fifty six hundred dollars. For elderly or disabled households, the 津贴咧系差唔多万七蚊。另外咧，嗰啲特别嘅家庭嗰个津贴咧，仲要加多咧，系几乎六千蚊嘅。And these dollar amounts for relocation under the Ellis Act, they change every year. 呢啲嘅诶金额咧，每年会改变嘅。There was a challenge in San Francisco to the amount of these.、Uh, To, to these relocation payments. 喺三藩市咧，系曾经有租客咧，系挑战过诶呢啲津贴嘅金额。But the court ruled that the city gets to decide how much these relocation amounts should be. 但系法庭话咧，嗰、那个城市嘅政府可以决定呢啲嘅搬迁津贴咧系几多。So I'm I'm very concerned about that because the city. They could do whatever they want and make these dollar amounts pretty much whatever they want it to be. Ah, 呢一个咧就我觉得咧系好弊嘅，因为咧变咗每一个市政府咧，佢可以自己决定呢啲津贴咧系要几多。Next slide, please. All right, let's talk a little bit about how the Ellis Act, how the procedure works. Ah,、uh, 我哋嚟讲下嗰个程序系点样做咧。So the first step is serving the notice of termination of tenancy, which is an eviction notice. Ah,、uh, 你首先系要通知有个逼迁嘅通知 And it gives the tenant 120 days to move out. 诶，俾一百二十日时间佢搬走 Now, a, a normal eviction notice is maybe one or two pages long. 啊、uh, ，平常嗰个终止租约嘅。文件咧系一两页嘅啫。But an eviction notice under the Ellis Act is anywhere from five to fifty pages long. 但系咧，用爱丽丝法案咧嚟到逼迁嘅话咧，系可以五页到几十页咁多页嘅文件嘅。It's a very complicated notice and something that you would never want to do on your own. 系好复杂，你自己唔想你自己去处理呢啲文件。And most lawyers, most eviction lawyers, won't do an Ellis Act eviction because they're too complicated. 而有好多咧租务嘅律师咧唔肯帮你做爱丽丝法案嘅，因为太复杂啦。Fortunately, there are some eviction attorneys out there who do them on a regular basis, and have, they they know what goes in that five or fifty page notice. 啊，但系咧有一啲律师咧，佢系识得点样做嘅。啊，唔使咁长嗰啲嘅嘅文件嘅。啊、uh, ，next slide。Step two is to tell the rent board that、uh, that you're withdrawing the unit from the market. You file some paperwork with the rent board after the eviction notice is served. 
。啊，第二步呢，就系、是、你就要通知嗰个综合管制嘅、啊啊啊、政府机构咧，系话俾佢听，你系准备撤离呢个租务市场啦。And it's during this 120 days where the tenant will advise the landlord if they're disabled or elderly. 咁喺呢段时间咧，嗰、那个租租客咧就要话俾业主听咧，佢系咪残障啊，或者年纪大啊，有冇啲豁免啊 ？And the tenant might request an extension of time to move out, and they could、uh, request up to a full year to vacate. 啊！喺呢啲情形咧，佢系有权系要求咧，系拖到啊最长系一年嘅时间咧，先至要搬走。And it doesn't take much for them to prove their disability。如果佢哋要证明佢系有残障咧，系好容易嘅。Typically, a, a simple letter from a doctor will be sufficient。一封简单嘅律师信咧，就已经话佢有残障啦。In my experience, every tenant Who's being evicted under the Ellis Act has a disability. Ah, I see. Is, 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 Asthma could be a disability. Ah,、uh, 敏感又系一个残障 And a lot of other ailments that we all live with and deal with count as a disability under the Ellis Act. 好多咧，平时啊，我哋身体啲唔舒服咧，都变成喺我哋司法案下边嘅残障 Okay, so、um, we're on slide twenty-one right now, and that was step two. We're now going to go on to slide twenty-two. 好，我哋下一张。第三步。Okay, are we on the same page now? All right. Yep. So,、uh, after you notify the rent board of what you're doing, then you give the notice to the tenant that, okay, we've told the rent board what we're doing, and that starts the 120 days. So that that is step three. 你通知咗政府之后呢，你就话翻俾嗰个租客听咧，而家一百二十日开始啦。Now I've made it sound very simple. These three steps, because、um, it would overwhelm you, all the details and steps required within these three steps. 我讲呢三部曲咧，好似好简单咁样，但系其实里边咧系好复杂嘅。So I've I've skipped over all of those finer details, but、uh, basically it's those three steps. 啊，我唔讲里边嗰啲复杂嗰啲嘢。就净系俾大家知道咧，有呢三步你系要跟住嚟做嘅。Okay, let's go to the next slide. So, comparing、uh, the the Tenant Protection Act with the Ellis Act, well, first of all, which one do you use? Do you invoke the Tenant Protection Act or do you invoke the Ellis Act? 既然系有两个唔同嘅法例咧，系做同一样嘅嘢，你系拣。用边一个法例呢？系嚟到逼迁啦。It really depends on where your property is located. What city? 要睇下你个物业喺边个城市。If your property is in this, let's say, the city of Oakland or the city of Berkeley, you're going to be following the Ellis Act and the city's regulations invoking the Ellis Act. 如果喺嗰啲自己有租户管制嗰啲城市，好似 Berkeley 嗰啲咁咧。你系要跟住佢城市嗰个规例嚟到做嘅。But if your property is in a place like、um, Piedmont, Albany,、uh, or Fresno, you're going to be looking to follow the Tenant Protection Act. 啊，假如你唔系喺呢啲自己本身有租务管制嘅城市咧，你系应该跟呢个加州租户保护法。And there are some big differences.、Uh, Between the Tenant Protection Act and the Ellis Act, and they're they're listed on the slide here. Ah,、uh, 大家睇到呢呢张嘢咧，系有比较咧，佢哋之间系有唔同嘅。The amount of relocation assistance is very different. The amount of time for a tenant to move out is very different. Under the Tenant Protection Act, it's sixty days. Under the Ellis Act, it's going to be closer to a year. 
。嗱，嗰個搬遷補助又唔同啦，要通知幾耐先至終止租約又唔同啦。Under the Tenant Protection Act,、uh, you could take out one unit in a building. You could ask one tenant in a building to leave. Under the Ellis Act, everybody in the building has to go. 租户保護法咧就俾你可以一個單位嚟到逼遷。但係用愛麗絲法案咧，就要全部都要俾錢。Ellis Act, you got to keep those units off the market. You cannot rent them out. You can't take money under the table. You can't use it as a rental for five years. 愛麗絲法案五年唔能夠租出去。Whereas under the Tenant Protection Act, you just got to keep it off the market for a little while. 啊，租户保護法咧，你淨係一段時間唔租出去就掂啦。And then the the last big difference between these two laws is the Ellis Act requires a lot of complicated paperwork, whereas the Tenant Protection Act requires just one piece of paper. A little complicated, but it's one piece of paper. 嗱，租户保護法咧，一張紙就已經得啦。但係愛麗絲法案咧，係好多好多文件要做嘅。Next slide, please. I think that. Uh, in the coming months and years, more and more property owners are going to be withdrawing units from the market because it just doesn't make any sense to rent out these smaller properties. The, the burdens are too much. 我相信咧系嚟紧呢几年咧，越嚟越多小业主咧系会唔将佢嗰个诶物业咧系再做出租啦，因为咧系实在系太麻烦啦。And、withdrawing units is not for everybody. It's for landlords who have problem tenants. Ah,、uh, 要要唔再租出去咧，唔系每一个业主都会选择咁样做，系俾嗰啲咧，你你嗰啲租客咧系好麻烦、好有问题嗰啲啦，嗰啲业主咧就会考虑咁样做。Withdrawing units is for landlords who have very low rents. 我哋系讲紧咧嗰啲收得好少租嗰啲嘅业主。And it's for landlords who have very great expenses. 或者系俾嗰啲业主呢，系嗰、那个啊、uh, 单位呢，可能比较旧咧，有好多嗰啲嘅修理嘅费用。If you are not making a profit on your income property because expenses are too great, then you got to question why am I doing this? 如果你收个租又收得好少，你唔能够大幅度加租。但係你又有好多嘅使費，咁你呢個出租物業根本係蝕蝕錢嘅。咁啊問題就係點解你仲要繼續出租咧 ？So as there are more and more withdrawal of units from the market, cities are going to try to stop these withdrawals. 所以我覺得咧係越嚟越多業主、小業主咧係會決定唔再出租啦。但係咧嗰啲嘅城市咧係會想辦法咧係嚟到唔俾你。係切出呢個出租出租市場嘅。Local lawmakers they don't like the、uh, the Ellis Act and they want to stop it。有一啲嘅城市咧係好唔中呢個愛麗絲法案，佢哋係用盡辦法咧想係禁止你使用。And tenant advocates they don't like the Ellis Act and they want to stop it。嗰啲咧係幫租客嗰啲嘅團體咧，亦都係想取消呢個愛麗絲法案嘅。And they also want to stop withdrawals under the Tenant Protection Act. 佢哋都呢係想阻止你用嗰個租户保護法呢係嚟到撤出市場。And the first thing、uh, they're going to do is they're going to go to Sacramento and try to get the lawmakers to change the law. 首先呢，佢哋會試下去啊，沙加面度嗰度呢，係讓嗰啲州議會、州議員呢係嚟到改變而家啲條例。It was the lawmakers that passed the Tenant Protection Act and the Ellis Act in Sacramento. Yeah, 呢两个法案咧都喺沙加缅度嗰度嘅议会通过嘅。And our state lawmakers could also make these laws disappear. 而佢哋系可以呢，系取消呢啲法案嘅。But at the local level,、uh, there are things that cities can do, and I see them doing in the in the、uh, future months. 另外一方面呢。系去到城市嗰一个嘅层面咧，好多城市啊自己啊里边咧系会啊摆好多限制。As I mentioned earlier, they can make these relocation fees very high. 
，好似咧佢哋可以咧係增加費用，叫嗰啲業主要撤離市場嘅時候咧，係要俾好高嘅費用。And if you think the current relocation amounts are high, wait until you see relocation amounts of twenty-five, thirty, and forty thousand dollars. 如果你覺得而家嗰啲搬遷津貼咧係好高啦，我相信咧會一路加上去咧，第日咧可能你要俾成幾萬蚊嘅。Because I, I see that coming. 我睇我睇呢啲一定會嚟嘅。Lo, local lawmakers can also try to stop、uh, withdrawals from the market by restricting how you use that property after you withdraw the units. 而好多城市咧，我相信咧。佢會加啲限制上去啦，就係話當你撤出咗市場之後，你嗰個單位係可以點樣用咧 ？For example, they could pass a tax on vacant units. 有啲城市咧已經講緊咧，你唔租出去嗰啲嘅空置嗰啲物業咧，佢要收你税。And they're already doing that in the city of Oakland. There's a vacant parcel tax. 啊，呢個喺屋倫咧已經係喺度提出，係會啊會會咁樣做噶。They could make the laws、uh, governing withdrawal more and more confusing. Ah, they can also make the laws governing withdrawal more and more confusing. And that will scare away landlords from withdrawing units. Ah, it will make the landlords from withdrawing units. Ah, it will make the landlords from withdrawing units. Ah, it will make the landlords from withdrawing units. Ah, it will make the landlords from withdrawing units. Ah, it will make the landlords from withdrawing units. Ah, it will make the landlords from withdrawing units. Ah, it will make the landlords from withdrawing units. 係唔想再做呢方面啦。But I'm going to keep doing these withdrawal evictions for my clients because it's a last resort, and my clients need to have some remedy. 但係咧，我就我哋嘅律師樓咧就會繼續做呢樣嘢，因為越嚟越多嘅業主咧係覺得咧唔唔再想再租出去啦。And the, the last way that、uh, local lawmakers are going to fight these withdrawals. Is by giving more and more money to nonprofit attorneys to、uh, go to court and represent tenants. 而另外一樣咧，佢哋會做去阻止業主撤離市場嘅咧，就係咧佢哋會用一啲嘅律師咧，係去法院嗰度咧，係嚟到阻止業主。In the past five years or so, we've seen millions of dollars being funneled to nonprofit tenant organizations and law firms. To represent tenants only. 而過去呢五年咧，我係見到越嚟越多嘅錢咧，係去嗰啲嘅團體，去嗰啲嘅律師啦，係所謂保障誒租客嗰個權益嘅。啊、uh, ，next slide. So we've talked about withdrawing units、um, as a remedy of last resort, and I think we're going to be seeing more and more of those.、Uh, my firm. Provides services helping landlords to withdraw units. We're a general real estate law firm. We handle all sorts of real estate disputes. But lately, we've been very busy withdrawing units, and we're available to assist you if you have questions about withdrawing units or dealing with problem tenants. My contact information is on the screen. So, if you are too burdensome, you don't want to move out. 或者你想應付一啲嘅啊問題嘅租客咧，啊，我哋嗰個律師樓咧可以幫助你嘅。So I'm ready to take questions as time permits.、Um, fire away. 我哋開始咧係嚟到答一啲嘅問題啦，但係咧，我哋我哋而家咧就林生咁，我哋而家就俾一分鐘時間你嚟唞一唞，飲啖水同埋睇下 Q and A box 嗰啲問題好嘛？咁喺中間呢一分鐘嘅時間咧，咁我就想介紹一下二零二二年美國華人實業協會會長 Tina Zen 小姐，麻煩你講幾句，咁等到林生同埋 Clifford 可以休息。Thank you, Clifford. Um, let's take a one minute break. So at the time that you can have some water and look at our Q and A box, and we will start the Q and A in just two minutes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 啊，好多謝大家今次嚟參加我哋依、這個啊講座啦，亦都好多謝阿林修榮先生抽抽你好寶貴嘅時間嚟依度啊答住啊啊，即係回答我哋啊啲問題啊，同埋啊俾我哋一個咁好嘅資訊啦。咁我咧就係、是、Tina Sang Tomorrow 咧，就我係今年嘅會長嘅。咁咧就啊。嗯我都好誒，好、uh, 衷心咁，即係咁嘅。我哋有呢個咁嘅會咧，可以幫助好多灣區嘅
，尤其係唐人啦、啊、中國人啦、啊、即係商語嘅問題啦，即係可以幫助到佢哋解決一啲房屋上嘅問題。咁係多謝曬你哋。Sonia， do you want to speak for a little？ Yes. Good morning to all of you. I want to thank you for joining us today on this Zoom presentation. I am Sonia Gomez Rexelius, Vice President of External Affairs for the Chinese Real Estate Association of America. One of the main objectives of our association is to increase home ownership in our community, especially in the Chinese community, and we do so by offering educational seminars like this one to first-time buyers. Current homeowners and investors, and also to our own real estate associates. Again, thank you for taking part in today's presentation, and a special thank you to our panelists and to our event committee. Back thank to you, Tom. Thank you. That's it.、Uh, thank you, Victoria. I do want to reach out and say thank you to Victoria, Mandy, and David. Have been doing a great job to host this event. Thank you so much. Back to you. Okay. If we're ready, so Xiao Wing, I will just pass the torch to you. Okay. We may now, start.、Uh, now, Clifford,、uh, I think all the questions come in there all over the place.、Uh, I cannot hear picked out、uh, questions because there's so many. I couldn't pick out the、uh, the ones specifically related to、uh, our topic today. So I'm just gonna go down the the list, and、uh, we can provide. Uh, answers to、uh, to to these people. Now, the first one I have has to do with pets.、Um, this person,、uh, this landlord, he's actually in Los Angeles. He's participating this morning.、Um, what what is、uh, the the the、uh, the law on accepting pets, which are、uh, uh, emotional support animals?、Uh, some people do use this as a loophole. Uh, to 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 override the、um, restrictions on the on pets in their in their agreement. The other question I want to ask is about pets. Some people use this as a loophole to override the restrictions on pets in their agreement. The other question I want to ask is about pets. Some people use this as a loophole to override the restrictions on pets in their agreement. The other question I want to ask is about pets. Some people use this as a loophole to override the restrictions on pets. Yes. So, very good question,、uh, and I'm going to start with the bottom line. 好，我呢个系相当好嘅问题。我想咧系啊，讲一讲嗰个起码系要点样做。Tenants are going to win this fight, and the landlords are going to lose. 好简单嘅啫，就系、是、咧，业主会输嘅，嗰、那个租客会赢嘅。So let me explain.、Uh, 我想解释。There is a difference between a pet and an emotional support animal. Ah,、uh, 宠物同呢个 emotional support animal 系唔同嘅 If an applicant or a tenant comes to a landlord and says, "I would like a pet," a landlord could say, "No, we're a no. We don't allow pets." Ah,、uh, 嗰个业主系有权系唔准宠物。喺嗰個出租單位裏邊。But if the applicant or the tenant says, "I want to have an emotional support animal or a service animal," then the landlord has to permit it. 但係如果租客話呢個係所謂啊精神支持嘅啊動物啊，你係冇權咧，係係係否決嘅。Now the tenant has to show. That they're entitled to an emotional support animal, that they need an emotional support animal. 誒，租客咧係需要證明佢需要呢一啲嘅精神支持嘅動物。But that's very easy to prove because. 但係好容易咧係攞到呢個證明嘅。Because there are a lot of doctors and other services that will give you a letter for sixty or seventy dollars. 因為好多醫生咧。六十七十蚊咧，佢就會俾封信你，話你係需要呢啲精神支持嘅動物嘅。And these doctors and services, they don't even look at what the illness is. If you pay them the money, they'll give you the letter to give to the landlord. 呢啲呢啲醫生根本唔使檢查你嘅，你俾錢你就攞到呢啲信㗎啦。
And it's too difficult to fight those cases. You're not going to pay a lawyer to fight a case like that. You're just going to give up and say, fine, you could have the dog or the cat. So, a yip juna, and a mosai sigana, hi ho, ho fight like you, my nice Lisa Suga. So, this is one area of landlord tenant law where I think the tenant is just going to win every time, and there's no point in fighting it. So, I think that you have to be a good one. Okay, Clifford, next question. This person has a one year lease.、Um, before the lease expires, the tenant wants to move away. Uh, but, uh, but she has another、uh, person, her sister, staying. Sister is not a tenant. But then、uh, she said, well, she's going to stay and continue the lease. Uh, does, does the landlord have to allow her to stay? The other question is, the landlord has not been able to stay. She has to stay, but she says, I'm going to stay here. The landlord is not the landlord. Can the landlord be able to stay here? So, and, and the sister is pregnant. So, can the landlord evict?、Uh, in general, you don't want to evict pregnant women. That's、uh, very difficult. The, so, I'm going to make some assumptions here. And one assumption is that this property is in a place like Berkeley or Oakland. So, Berkeley and Oakland, they have just cause ordinances that say you cannot evict a tenant unless you have one of the just causes. 呢啲城市咧係話咧，你唔可以係逼遷，除非你係有嗰幾個合理嘅理由。And they these laws in these cities define tenant to include subtenant。啊，佢咧係俾租客咧係自己有 subtenant 嘅。So under the just cause laws, you cannot evict because there's a subtenant there、um,。The, 所以有。有有租客咧，即使個租客唔喺原來嗰個租約裏邊咧，你都唔可以就隨便逼遷嘅。Right now you couldn't evict anyway because of the moratorium in Alameda County。而而家咧，如果你 Alameda County 咧，你根本就唔可以逼遷。But I want I want to say one thing about this situation: the the tenant that's moving out, she still will be the tenant even though she's moving out. Because until she returns the keys and possession, she's the tenant. But in this situation, that the original tenant, although he has moved out, but as long as he doesn't return the keys and possession, he remains the tenant. And a lot of times, in this and a lot of times in this situation, if you tell that tenant who's moving out, well, that's fine, but you're still on the hook. I'm still holding you to the lease. They. In this situation, the tenant can only say, "Please listen." 就算你而家唔住喺度咧，你仍然咧仲系喺呢个租约之下嘅。They'll give a second thought to leaving their pregnant sister behind。咁可能咧，佢会再考虑系咪就咁样咧，摆低佢嗰个大肚嘅嘅妹咧喺嗰度。Clifford, another question about、uh, eviction for non-rental rent paying.、Um, San Francisco、um, tenant. Hasn't paid since April one. Can you evict? You you can evict. So the laws、uh, have evolved in San Francisco. San Francisco does not have a local moratorium, and at, at the present time, you can evict for non-payment of rent after April of twenty twenty two. Now, there is San Francisco is no limitation. Is can you can right C A N you can evict. Yes. 可以，除咗阿拉米达 county 之后，所有加州嘅地方，四月一号之后冇俾租，都可以逼迁嘅。Okay, next question. Um, tenant has been uh there for two months, has four large dogs, and、um, it's really affecting the sanitary uh, uh condition. Uh, can can they evict? So it's a health and safety issue here. Even if it's a、uh, emotional support animal, 
or if it's a pet, if there is a uh, sanitation issue, um, that's a health and safety situation. And that is grounds for eviction in most counties, even Alameda County. Uh, emotional support animal. 但是如果在屋里整到那些卫生很差 brings boyfriend to live in uh, some months now Oops, um, you, you, you keep moving and I, I don't, don't move while I'm reading it uh, Tenant brings boyfriend to live in for some months now. Um, ask her to provide boyfriend's information, credit check, background check. Uh, she keeps uh, agreeing, but uh, but never took action. Uh, what can this landlord do? Probably very little. Again, depending on where the property is located, you, you cannot evict in the county of Alameda if a tenant brings in other subtenants and guests and visitors who are staying for a long period of time. You, that's not one of the grounds for eviction. You Alameda County, just Alameda County, what if it's not Alameda County? Then you might have uh the ability to force the tenant to give you the information or vacate. Uh, if you have a lease that prohibits sublettings, you can enforce that in some in some cities. My Alameda County, if you have a lease of being a government, name hoy or subtenant, go on, lady go on, so you only own a high hoy evicta. So, Sal Wing, under the Tenant Protection Act, which we had talked about today. Uh, one of the just causes is where the tenant's breaking the lease. They're they're in breach of the lease. So if they bring in a subtenant, that's a breach and they can be evicted. Uh, if a three-day notice to pay rent or quit was given to the tenant, the tenant's attorney contacted the landlord to resolve the matter without litigation. Uh, does the landlord have to respond? No, but again, if this is in Alameda County, the landlord doesn't have a lot of options open. You might want to talk to that attorney uh, and see if a deal could be worked out. But no, you never have to. You never have to talk to the tenant's lawyer. Alameda County, ne, jiao kuan nan hou duo, jiao yu tong shang fang ne gong shou, tong dui fang gong shou. Dan ne, yu gong nu hai Alameda County, ne, ne nu shai lei ge, jiao yang ke yi bi qin. Um, I work with a lawyer to handle Alice Act to remove a tenant, resulting in a settlement. Tenant agreed to enroll in the Rent Relief Assistance Program via Central Legal as part of the settlement. After seven months, the tenant's application was determined to be ineligible. Is there any way for the landlord to evict now? Um, this is in the county of Alameda. Um, can can the uh, landlord evict? Will I be able to sue either the tenant or the county of Alameda for the unpaid rent? All right, so I'm going to answer with a question. Why aren't you asking your attorney these questions? I so I know I know the answer to my question. This this person wants a second opinion. Uh, so you can't evict for non-payment of rent because they were with turned down by the 
rental assistance people. But under the Ellis Act, that is grounds for eviction in Alameda County. So uh, it's a little complicated because a settlement agreement was entered into here. And a lot is going to depend on the language of that settlement agreement. You take a look at the settlement agreement. I didn't say it. But I don't know if you're going to be able to do it. It's just cause. I hope you evict it. But I'm going to ask you to ask you to ask you to ask you. Um, Alameda County still has its moratorium in effect. County supervisor refused to discuss releasing moratorium. How can we do about it? Uh, so this is a landlord in the Alameda County, uh, not getting any rent. Uh, what can they do? Can they file a class action suit against the supervisors? Uh, he has a tenant in Dublin, owes more than two years of rents. Can landlords evict in Alameda County when they're not getting rent? Well, start with the last question. No, you can't. You cannot evict for non-payment of rent in Alameda County. Alameda County, All right, going to some of the other questions that were there. Um, you can't sue lawmakers because you don't like the law. You can challenge the law if there's some legal basis. So there, there are two good lawsuits that were filed challenging the Alameda County moratorium, and they're pending in federal court. Okay, here's a case in LA. Um, landlord wants to increase the rent. Tenants refused. They were upset. So they went ahead and reported the landlord's grandfathered basement unit. He has a basement unit. Um, so the, the, the tenants uh, uh, taking, taking revenge. A city inspector gave a friend a notice of violation. So um, the tenant went and reported some illegal um, tenancy uh, situation in the building. Uh, the friend wants to know if there's any way um, to have the basement unit vacated during the pandemic. Uh, and, uh, and, and can he uh, go ahead and do the necessary repairs and apply for the permits and try to make it legal since now the tenants is uh, is reporting him? Can you try to make it uh, make it legal? So this is a problem that comes up in other places. It's not unique to Los Angeles. It happens in the East Bay and San Francisco as well, where a tenant turns in the landlord for having an illegal unit. Uh, 就去report他有些他的單位有些不合法的地方就去report他。And it depends on the city. The, the city law will determine what rights the landlord has to legalize the unit or to get the tenant out of the unit. 每一個城市的做法都不同,有些城市嚴啲,有些沒那麼嚴,是給你搞翻定居。so it's possible that you might be able to get a tenant out under the Tenant Protection Act or even in Alameda County with the moratorium, because if it's an illegal unit, there arguably is a health and safety issue there. Um, Alameda County, so I should point out that Los Angeles also has uh, an eviction moratorium right now, but it's set to expire. They actually have an expiration date. Um, so the Los Angeles moratorium might be an obstacle for the person who asked that question. Yeah. Okay. Next one. 
啊，租客咧今年就申請咗 rent relief program， 仲喺度等緊。啊，業主咧而家咧就已經係啊，佢收唔到租。啊，有咩適當理由提前啊租約個誒？嗯、um, ，this person the the tenant has applied for rent relief is still waiting. Um. The landlord wants to know how he can prevent any money、uh, from the relief program、uh, to to not be paid to the to the landlord. If if they approve it, how can the landlord make sure the money will go to the landlord? Well, I I think the program is set up that way, so the tenant doesn't get the cash; it goes to the landlord.、Uh, but if If the application has been pending for a very long time, it's going to become less and less likely that the landlord will see that money because I think the program is running out of money. Yeah, I think so. Ah,、uh, if you have already submitted it, until now, it hasn't come out. It's very likely that it won't come out because now these these kind of programs are not paying out money. Then,、uh, how can the、uh, landlord evict? Now that this thing has not been approved, waited for a long time, landlord doesn't have rental income. Can the landlord evict? So,、uh, if it's in a place like Alameda County, the answer is no.、Um, if it's a single-family house or something that could be removed under the Tenant Protection Act or the Ellis Act, that might be the only remedy. So that's what this talk today was about. If you find yourself in a situation where there's just no rent money coming in, you have you may have to withdraw that unit. So I have clients who haven't haven't seen rent in three years. I have one client with a house in Piedmont, where the tenant won't apply for rent relief, won't pay the rent, and all my client wants to do is to、uh, get the tenant out and sell the house. Can't do it for three years. It's been tied up because of the、uh, Moratorium in Alameda County. It's a big problem, and、uh, it sounds crazy to a lot of landlords. But this moratorium is a big problem, and I think it's unconstitutional. And these lawsuits that have been filed will eventually prevail, but it's going to take a long time. Okay. Now, from this point on,、um, for the、uh, for, for in, in the interest of saving time. I think I'm not going to translate. I'm just going to ask the questions in English and let Clifford、uh, answer it because we we have tons of questions. There's no way we can we can、uh, do all the questions. So I'm just going to ask in English. Well,、Clifford、let me understand. You're going to ask. You're going to ask in English, and I'm supposed to answer in Chinese. <laughs> you can try. You can try. Okay. Next question.、I、have a tenant occupying single family house. In the unincorporated area of Alameda County, is that under the moratorium also? Even yes, unincorporated yes. areas. Yes. He has not paid rent for over a year, so this is Alameda County. It's、uh, it's hopeless. We'll jump jump to the next one. Well, well, do, hold on. Let me let me comment on that. So two things they could do: you could sue this tenant for the 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 debt for the amount that's owed. And the tenant might not like that, and that might cause them to leave. Or you could use the Tenant Protection Act to get this tenant out. This is a perfect example where you could serve a 60-day notice and get that tenant out. Okay, so even in Alameda County, you can sue for unpaid rent,、uh, and or you can use the、uh, the Tenant Protection Act to、uh, to withdraw the unit, as we、sure. discussed. Correct. Now, withdrawing the unit, it'll get the tenant out. It's not going to get you your rent money, but I think the more important thing is getting the tenant out as quickly as possible. Now, this tenant has not. This is the unincorporated area of Alameda County.、Uh, the tenant hasn't paid rent for over a year, and he has not been living in the house. And he left his belongings in the house and texted the.、Uh, The landlord every month that if we forgave his rent and give him the deposit back, then he will move out. So he's holding the、uh, landlord hostage. He's not uh, uh, moved out. He left his stuff there, but he does not pay his rent. Well, what can the landlord do? Well, 
I don't really understand the situation. They haven't moved out. If their stuff is still there, they mm -hmm. haven't turned over the keys. The, the tenant right. hasn't moved out. Right. Um, but there might be a way to serve a notice of belief of abandoned real property. And after 18 days, the landlord might be able to get that property back. Uh, go talk to an eviction attorney. You might have some uh, some solutions here. Okay. Is the Oakland rent increase moratorium still in effect for how long? Does it apply to the allowable 10% increase for bank increases? Oh, wow. Um, I don't know the exact answer to that because I haven't been paying attention to rent increases due to the moratorium. I think that has been lifted and it's going to be subject to the rent increase limitation. Now, the rent increase limitation doesn't stop bank rent increases. It's just each year it's going to be 3%. But if you have banked increases waiting, I think you could still impose those. Uh, there, there could be a 10% limit overall because of the anti-gouging laws. So again, if you're, if you're going to raise rent more than 10%, talk to your landlord attorney before you do that. And... Uh, and, and I, I do think that you can give rent increases now uh, in the city of Oakland. Okay. We have a tenant, it's not in Berkeley or Oakland, who's taking advantage of the moratorium right now to live rent free. She had an open COVID rental assistance application since July, 2021. And uh, we don't think anything will come out of it. Uh, we are considering cash for keys. Uh, any advice on how to structure the uh, cash for key? Uh, how much to offer? Uh, when is the earliest we can ask someone to leave? So it sounds like it's Alameda County. Well, it's something I didn't really cover in my presentation because I was talking about withdrawing units, but another option for dealing with problem tenants or tenants who haven't paid rent in a long time is to do a move out agreement. So Oakland and Berkeley both have move out ordinances that permit you to approach a tenant and discuss a buyout of their tenancy. Uh, and so it's doable. You just have to follow the laws in those cities. There's some paperwork that has to be done ahead of time, but there are, you know, they don't publish what the going rates are for buyouts, but generally it's in the same range as what the um, relocation ordinances require as payment, maybe a little bit more. Uh, and there's no harm in trying to open up negotiations on a buyout with your tenants. The worst that can happen is they want too much and you just say no. Okay. Can I use the Tenant Protection Act to evict tenants on a fixed lease? No. So you can only terminate a tenancy if someone is month to month or their lease is about to come to an end and you time the service of the notice with the expiration of the lease. So okay. if the tenant has a lease in place, you, you could talk to them about moving, but they don't have to because they have a lease. They have a contract. Tenant Protection Act versus local rules requiring higher payments. Uh, is it up to the landlord to choose which one or the stricter no. rule apply? No, the stricter one is going to apply. So Berkeley and Oakland, they have regulations telling the landlord how much they have to pay. Of course, the tenant's always going to demand more to move out, but you have to follow that stricter local law. Okay, I'm gonna, in the interest of time, I'm gonna skip over uh, some so we can uh, cover a few more. We got, uh, we got 10 more minutes to, uh, to noon time. We have to end at uh, noon time. Um, can I partially withdraw from the rental market? Uh, I have a duplex uh, in San Francisco. Unit one, the lease ends July 31st. Unit two, tenants just renew their lease to 2023 on a month to month basis. Plan to just rent one unit and keep the other one vacant off the market for five years. Can partial or whole withdraw? Uh, what, what laws should I 
uh, looking to for more details. So in San Francisco, landlords have to follow the Ellis Act and San Francisco's laws that implement the Ellis Act. You cannot do a partial withdrawal in San Francisco. You have to withdraw all of the units from the market. So uh, the answer is no, you can't do what you, you think you want to do there. Um, this person offers some, some uh, experience sharing. My experience in property management, uh, 25 years in the Bay Area. Wouldn't it be safe to say that in the absence of definitive answers that the, count, that the county would perceive and enforce the more restrictive provisions of the Alice Act than the AP 1482 or Tenants Protection Act? Uh, uh, okay, not sure I understand the question, but if, the, if a city has a city, because there's no county, uh, Ellis Act uh, regulations. It's city by city. And if a city has regulations to implement the Ellis Act, those apply uh, before the, uh, the the law of the Tenant Protection Act. Okay. Two tenants. Tenants A um, has quarrels with tenants B. Can the landlord use this reason to evict one of the tenants. What if they have conflicts? Uh, can you can you uh, use this to uh, evict one of the two tenants? If it's outside of Alameda County, it's probably a, a reason or a just cause for eviction. If we're talking in Alameda County, is there a health and safety issue? Could be. That's something to talk to an eviction lawyer about to see if you meet the exception for evictions in Alameda County, the health and safety exception. On a single family home in Oakland, currently is the owner's primary residence. Um, can they put it on the rental market or just to sell it to avoid uh, the possible future rental headaches? Uh, Clifford? Yes. It sounds like the question from the question, it sounds like there's no tenancy involved. No tenants occupy the property. Right. So yeah, you could sell your property. That's always an option you have. You could sell it with tenants in place. Uh, obviously, if you have a vacant property or it's owner occupied, uh, don't rent it out before you sell it. Sell it uh, without the tenant. Yeah. Um, Clifford, the, the statewide uh, Rent control still does not include any single family home and condos and townhouses, right? There, there is an exception under the, the um, Tenant Protection Act for most single family homes and condos. If you're a corporation that owns a lot of single family homes and condos, that exception may not apply. Okay. Um... Um, I also have a question that I want to clarify for our audience. Can you tell us about if OMI equivalent to Alice Act or if it is two separate issues? 有觀眾成日都會有疑惑關於OMI同Alice Act 究竟是不是同一樣的事情。我們現在請Clifford去解釋一下,好嗎?Thanks, Clifford. So OMI is an owner move-in eviction, which is a just cause under Berkeley's law, Oakland's law, and even under the tenant under state law, the Tenant Protection Act, you can do an owner move in eviction. Alameda County, you can't because of the moratorium. But that is completely separate from the Ellis Act and from withdrawing units. Uh, if you have to get an owner into a single family home or even into an apartment building, you cannot use OMI right now in Alameda County, uh, you would have to use the Ellis Act or the Tenant Protection Act to withdraw the unit. Thank you, Clifford. OMI and Ellis Act are two things. We need to be careful and be careful. Because we all have a right to be careful. How to proceed with this situation. Now, we will give the time to Lin Sam. Do you know if there are many problems? 有很多問題,我們沒有可能是全部答完的。
Um, oh. you go on for another five minutes. There's no way we can answer all the questions. Um, can the Tenant Protection Act be used in San Francisco or Ellis Act only? Uh, Ellis Act only. And that's because San Francisco has some very strict regulations on implementing the withdrawal of units. So uh, you have to use the Ellis Act provisions. For San Francisco rent, uh, rental single family home, uh, should the Tenant Protection Act also the same? Uh, Ellis Act is the same question. That's, um, a good, that's a good candidate for the Ellis Act. For the Ellis Act, okay. Uh, can you sell the property instead of having to be off market for five years? Uh, so you have Alice Act. Um, you can still sell the, the, the property, but the buyer has to be uh, bound by the five-year rule, right? Yes. The, the buyer stands in the shoes of the seller. As a matter of fact, the seller should make full disclosure of the Ellis Act. Don't give legal advice to the buyer but provide the Ellis Act paperwork that was served. Okay. My property in San Francisco, tenants did not pay three months rent and uh, all the checks she gave me uh, returned. Can I send her three days notice for uh, to pay or to quit? It depends on what months you're talking about. So I think we had a question earlier about after, can I get my rent after April of 2022? Yes, if it's, back to 2020 or 2021, you might not be able to. So uh, the person who asked this question should consult with an eviction lawyer. So if the non-payment uh, is for rent after April 1 this year, then you can evict, right? Yes, you could serve the notice. Okay. Can landlord put rental units on the market for sale after they get out the rental? Oh, we answered this already. Yes, you can, but you have to disclose. If a two unit in city of Alameda, one upper, one lower unit, lower unit occupied by section eight tenant. In the last two years, it's been a change in tenant in the upper unit and both of them complain about the tenant in the lower unit uh, smoking marijuana. Confronted the lower unit tenant about her smoking marijuana, but she denied. Provide a notice of non-smoking when she signed the lease two years ago. Now, smoking, smoke, smoking policies um, in, in the lease agreement, uh, is that legal? How can that be enforced? Well, again, city of Alameda is in Alameda County and you can't evict if someone is breaching their lease agreement uh, or being a nuisance. We've had a lot of clients come to us with nuisance cases we can't do anything about it unless it's a health and safety issue. So if the tenant upstairs has asthma or has some condition that uh, doesn't allow them to inhale smoke, it may be a health and safety exception to the moratorium. Okay, this one is in Santa Clara County. Can I change the boyfriend's prorated water fee even he is not in the lease. Uh, so this tenant has a boyfriend moved in. He used up a lot of water. Can we uh, raise the uh, water fee? Probably uh, not. His boyfriend is not in the lease. Probably not because um, it, it's a, it would be considered a rent increase. Anytime you increase fees, it's seen as a rent increase. There is rent control in Santa Clara County. Uh, so I, I would say no in that situation, but a, a discussion should be had with the tenant about how you know, this is causing a problem and, and the water rates are going up. Um, and the question really should be, was the boyfriend allowed to be there? Was there a prohibition against subleasing? That might be a just cause for eviction. 
is preparing for a sale of the property an acceptable reason for eviction under the Ellis Act or under the Tenant Protection Act? Well, yes is the easy answer, but you don't have to have a reason for using the Ellis Act or withdrawing a unit. You're, you don't, it doesn't require a reason. Uh, I would avoid discriminating against tenants or retaliating against tenants, but uh, otherwise don't give a reason. Don't tell your tenant why you're invoking the Ellis Act. Um, that, that's the beauty of the, of the uh, Ellis Act and the Tenant Protection Act. You don't need a just cause. So uh, mm. I want to tell people that are, are watching the video that you can go to our website, get more information about uh, landlord tenant law. Also go to our Facebook page and see some going ons with our law firm. Uh, we have some videos on YouTube. Uh, my contact information is on the screen. That's how you contact me in my office. Uh, at the present time, we don't have anyone in our office who speaks Chinese. We have in the past, they, they come and go, uh, but we do have a lot of Chinese speaking clients and somehow we make it work and we're, we're here to assist if we could be of any help. Can you use the Tenant Protection Act in San Francisco or do you need to use the Alice Act? What age is considered elderly? How much in attorney's fees does it generally cost to withdraw one tenant left in my rental unit? Uh, San Francisco, you've got to use the Ellis Act. You don't use the Tenant Protection Act. Uh, what does it cost? It depends on how easily the landlord provides information to the attorney with us. Uh, you know, there, there's a range of costs for Ellis Act evictions and it's usually by the unit, but in, in a, presentation like this, it's difficult for me just to throw out a number and say, this is what it's going to cost. It depends on the circumstances, the situation, whether there's a dispute with the tenant, uh, there's a lot involved. Generally, it's the same paperwork involved in all of the cases. Uh, it's going to cost more if you have more units. And don't forget in San Francisco, uh, you, can, you have to remove all of the units. You have to withdraw all of the units in the building for rent or lease, you can't cherry pick units. Yeah. Are there any prerequisites such as making repairs before you evict using the Tenants Act or the Alice Act? No. Okay. Which law is better for San Leandro? Alice Act or the, um, the, the Tenants Protection Act? Uh, I don't believe okay. San Leandro has any regulations to implement the Ellis Act. So you would uh, be withdrawing units under the Tenant Protection Act. Does the Tenant Protection Act applies to Section 8 renters in Santa Clara County? Yes, but there are also additional requirements you have to comply with because of Section 8. Oakland rental is the maximum rent increase uh, Per year, 3%. I'm sorry, which city? Uh, Oakland. Yeah, starting August 1st, the maximum rent increase is going to be 3%. And then every August after that, uh, the percentage will change. Never to go above 3%. Uh, Millbrae, this property is in Millbrae. Can they use the Tenants Protection Act in Millbrae? Yes. Sao Wing, uh, we're past noon. How about one more question? Find the, the best question on that's left okay. on your list there, and that's the one I will answer. Okay. Can a 10-year tenant uh, tenancy, uh, husband 65 years old, wife with a 25-year-old son, reject relocation fee, this is San Francisco, offer, but counter offer for a buyout that doubles the amount of the relocation fee. So um, landlords trying to uh, use the Alice Act, um, but, the, but the tenant wants double the amount of the, um, of the, the, the relocation allowance as a buyout offer. 
Right. So this is a situation that's common where a landlord starts the withdrawal process here under the Ellis Act, uh, offers the payments that are required under the Ellis Act, but the tenant comes back and says, okay, if you want me out, I want double or I want some other amount. The landlord could say no, they don't have to pay that extra amount, but if they want the tenant out on time, they might want to negotiate something. That landlord has to consider whether the legal fees involved in going to court and forcing the tenant out are going to be more or less than what the tenant is demanding in a buyout. So consult with your attorney about what makes sense and do the right thing. Okay. That's all the question and answer we're going to do today. Uh, Victoria, uh, you have an announcement. I'll give it back to you. Okay. <clears throat> yes. Hi. Uh, basically, uh, 就是在今天有朋友提供答案 Lucy提供給我們的flyers,一些紙張的資料,關於紙張的資張,在這裡都可以發送給大家的。我們其實時間都差不多了,因為已經是12點07分。Shawin?Yeah,OK.Victoria okay. um, just uh, announced that uh, today at 5 to 6, tomorrow from 11 to 12, they are going to uh, be in San Francisco and also in Alameda to pass out the, uh, the notes, uh, the flyers that you have prepared. Uh, those, those are in Chinese, and they're going to, do, to be uh, distributing those. Okay, uh, Victoria. Hi. Hi. Come. 現在我把時間交給Tina或者Unmute,因為我們已經交給這個講座了。多謝大家今天的到臨。Special thanks to Clifford and Xiao Wang. Here you go, Tina. Thank you, 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 thank you so much. I appreciate everybody to be here attending our uh, webinar. Uh, thank you again, uh, Mr. Lam Xiao Wing. It's great job, and Clifford, thank you so much. And I look forward to see you guys in our next event. We do have more events coming up. Uh, Chinese Real Estate Association of America has been serving our community for 40 plus years. So hopefully uh, you can uh, join us and come to our event next time. Thank you so much, Victoria, David, and Mandy for you know, ho uh, hosting this event for us. Bye-bye, everyone. Okay. Bye-bye, everyone. Thanks, Clifford. Bye. You may log off. And everyone can just click lift the meeting and because we are ending. Thank you so much. Um.